for this kind of problem, if, Nico, if you want the concentration of Cl minus, you have two sources that are being mixed in solution, so you got to count for both. What I'd recommend whenever this happens, find the moles contributed by this one. Separately, we'll find the moles contributed by this one, and we'll add them together, because these are the only two sources. And then we'll divide by the total volume, which is going to be 245 and 610, summed up. So we're going to add the moles, we're going to add the volume, and going to divide the two. And this is assuming that the volumes are additive, which in these kind of problems they would be. Okay, so let's do the left-hand side first. 245 milliliters times 0 0.615 moles per liter. Uh, and then I'll just convert to uh, get rid of the volumes. Nico, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so that's moles from that one. Uh, now from this one, it'll be a little more uh, tricky. 610 milliliters. And then I'm going to multiply by the molarity again. And convert the volumes. But this is going to be the molarity of MgCl2. But there's two chlorines in every MgCl2. So I've actually got to multiply this by 2. Is that okay? Yeah. So there's 2 Cl for every 1 MgCl. And that could be a molar ratio if you want. Here, we just did this intuitively. In a sense, I didn't write that down because there's 1 Cl in every KCl. You could totally write that down and be much more complete. Okay, these two I'm going to add together. So now I'm going to get the total moles in solution of chlorine from each source, the KCl and the MgCl. And then I take this and divide by the total volume, which would be 245 milliliters plus 610 milliliters. And there will be actually one more step because that's milliliters. But when I'm trying to determine molarity, I've got to divide by liters. So, and you don't have to do this all in one step like I'm doing it. But this would be the essential calculation.